Oliver does eventually get to the right door to open it up for someone to come through. It's Stanley that comes through it instead of a guest. So the pair of them start fighting with each other and twisting about one screwing the other one's job up and a guest actually gives Stan a tip that Oliver fully believes should be his tip because he's the doorman. And of course there is another disagreement over this. Getting into Laurel and Hardy. Once more, we're continuing on with the, the DVD uh, number 14 in the Laurel and Hardy box set. Uh, this is a series of shorts uh, under the title A Job to Do. This is Double Whippy uh, from 1929. Uh, this one here, silent comedy. Uh, only about, oh gosh, I'm not even sure of the runtime now. That's awful. Doing a video review on something I'm not even sure they're on time of. It's a short film. It's a very funny one. Uh, Laurel and Hardy turn up at a hotel uh, to get a job as a doorman and frontman for this this place. It's a posh, swanky establishment. But before they get there, there's this uh, Prussian royal prince turning up the hotel's expecting. And as his car pulls up at the, the front door, he gets out and he's like, he's all, you know, the prim, proper sort of thing. It has to be just right. And as driver and butler uh, are helping him get out of the car, they're cleaning them off and whatnot. And the people in the hotel see this happening. So the guy runs in, tells the people that the prince is here. And while well, everybody's scrambling to get to the door to welcome them in, uh, Stan and Ollie come in before him and of course uh, mistaken identity everybody thinks that like you know Stan and Ollie are these uh, two members of royalty basically so they're getting treated like kings and uh, they're getting signed into the hotel and everything and they're just going with it and eventually they discover hotel manager discovers that these are the two employees that are sent over from an employment agency to take jobs at the hotel so that they don't get off to the best start and you know things just go from bad to worse for everyone involved once they do actually start working once this royalty this prince comes in this royalty once this prince comes in and they figure out who he is and they're trying to get him signed and get him to his room uh, you know, he's, he's like, I'm going to complain to the king about this here. And he's over to the, the left elevator, doors open up. And before he gets in, he turns around and, and like another thing. And he gets ripped into the manager of the hotel again. And behind him, we see the lift starting up without the doors closing. And he walks in, falls down to the bottom of the, the lift, the elevator shaft, covered with oil. He only has a, a fall of bit seven or eight feet or so but they drag him out and he's like clarried from head to toe the lift comes back down again Oliver walks out is it Oliver comes out first yes I think it is and uh, yes so uh, again he's given off a bit you know the state of me like blah 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 I'm going to complain so much and uh, again the same thing happens only this time it's Stanley comes out for the second time this Prince ends up at the bottom of the elevator shaft once more, covered in oil. So, Stan and Ollie take their positions to uh, do their jobs. Oliver's the the doorman outside to welcome people, and he's like checking out his uniform and whatnot. And he really realizes he has a little whistle hanging off the top of his jacket here. So he brings it out and he gives a little blow, and you. Uh, and uh, a taxi pulls up. So that's what this thing's for, you know, he's supposed to, like, if a guest comes out of the hotel, he's meant to call for the taxis, but he doesn't realise this, he's never been told. So, of course, the taxi driver comes over, he's not pleased, and uh, that sets it up for 
a confrontation between both Stan, Ollie and this taxi driver later on and he's like don't call me unless you need me I'm going to have to drive the whole way around the block now uh, so when Stanley appears at the front of the hotel we get the the standard double door routine where you know, guests are coming in and out and Oliver's trying to go and open the door for one of them but Stanley gets him at another door and you know there's a back and forth thing where when Oliver does eventually get to the right door to open it up for someone to come through it's Stanley that comes through it instead of a guest so the pair of them start fighting with each other and twisting about one screwing the other one's job up and a guest actually gives Stan a tip that Oliver fully believes should be his tip because he's the doorman and of course there is another disagreement over this uh, coin pretty much and that brings a policeman into the argument as well and you know it, as I say it, it's just typical Laurel and Hardy fun in this film where they're trying their best to do the job and it's not working out uh, the taxi driver again gets called because Stanley is messing about with Oliver's uh, whistle once more and he blows it and then they the taxi pulls up again the guy's not happy so he gets out and he gets, starts taking it out and Oliver and uh, you know at the three of them end up fighting and the police gets involved and, at, and then Gene Harlow I believe turns up and I'm pulling that name out of fresh air at this point I'm just going by seeing her on the screen I have got no actual idea if I'm writing that but I do believe it was Gene Harlow turns up as a guest at the hotel Stan and Ollie try to help her out of the car she gets her dress caught in the door the car drives off and she gets the bottom of her dress ripped off she doesn't realise this and neither does Ollie as he's leading her into the hotel across the reception and Stanley's running in trying to get her covered up and Stanley's uniform consists of a long jacket down to pretty much his knees and at, at this point Gene Harlow is at the reception of the hotel completely embarrassed Oliver's like you know trying to cover her up and he's like give me your give me your coat to Stan Stanley doesn't want to give him his coat and Oliver eventually gets it off Stanley covers her up to protect her uh, femininity and uh, <laughs> Stanley's isn't wearing a shirt he's just wearing his underwear pretty much blue this long coat and you think he's wearing a suit Short and tie, blue everything, but it's just basically a cut out bit of a shirt and a tie, and just everything else is just as long johns. So the film ends off with a, them getting in trouble with the hotel, the, they're fighting with each other, and it's the whole poking in the eye routine. You know, Stanley pokes Oliver in the eye, Oliver pokes Stanley in the eye. The manager loses his head, he tells him to get out. Whenever he points at the door to tell him to get out, he pokes someone else in the eye, and this all kicks off, and that pretty much brings us up to the end of the little film. It is absolutely brilliant. I watched this first thing in the morning. I just I woke up stupidly early before work, and I thought, right, I'll, I'll watch an episode now before I go, but I was kind of still half asleep when I was watching this so I'm just I'm going by memory I haven't I don't recall ever seeing this one before now but I enjoyed it so much better than I thought I was going to enjoy it I've always had or I always did have the the mindset of you know if it's a silent film I can't really be bored watching it um you know I would rather have the sound movies but so I have had a tendency over the years not to check out the silent films but this time around I'm going through the entirety of the box set and I'm actually just looking forward to getting into everything now like there's nothing I'm going to skip over I'm going to review everything on it and there's very little on this box set so far that I have been disappointed with and I don't believe that you can be fully disappointed in a Laurel and Hardy film like some of them 
you know, granted aren't as good as others, but they do ha all have something to brighten up your day. And this one definitely did it for me, so definitely go and have a little look at it.